three things you have to exclude in order to make a powerful routine in the morning. Number one, take no phone calls before noontime. None. Zero. Number two, don't pick up the voicemail. Do not check your voicemail. Let, let me share this thought with you. You're out last night. You got a listening appointment. You were very excited. You got the signature. It's priced pretty well. You think, man, this thing's going to sell. We're going to get it sold in about 30 days or so. And you feel really good about it. You walk out of the house. You go home. How many times did the client call and leave a voicemail the next morning and say, nah, I've been thinking about it? And they sometimes want to raise the price. Sometimes they don't want to do the deal. Sometimes they want to change the, ter the terms on it. There's nothing any good that you're going to hear in that voicemail that early in the morning. See, what happens is the difference between the superstars and the rest of the agents is that the superstars don't allow distractions in the morning. If you take a phone call in the morning, it will be distracting. Somebody will pull you off task. If you check your voicemails in the morning, you will be distracted. Somebody will pull you off task. And then the last thing I wrote down here is don't check your emails. Do not check your emails. Two places not to check your emails. Don't check your emails in the morning before you get started in your routine. And the second place is, and I don't know where this rule came, uh, wh what happened here. Real estate agents think checking emails during prospecting is OK. Do you know how distracting it is to get an email? And we, we, let's back up a second. Who's got their cell phone on them right now? OK, most of you, right? Have you gotten a text message or an email yet this morning since this meeting's been going on? Have you looked at your phone? Come on. Yes. Yeah. A third of you say yes. The other two thirds are telling the truth. All of us, all, all of us, I, you know, I have to leave when I go to a Mike Ferry seminar, I have, to, I become so addicted to this stupid phone that I have to leave the phone outside of the event because I usually sit toward the front. Do you realize how many agents are sitting there texting while Mike's talking up there? Can you, it's a wonder he doesn't go down and just smack you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like answering the phone in the middle of a meeting. It makes no sense. But here's the issue. Forget the disrespect part. You're distracted. You don't hear what's going on. You're not in the moment. You're not listening to the client when, they're pr when, when you ask them a question. By the way, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, when do you plan on moving? And the client hesitates and says, uh, no, never. Well, just that hesitation might lead you to the next question of, wow, sounds like because of that hesitation, maybe you were thinking about it. But if you were watching your email, or you were thinking about a voicemail, you'd never pick up on that call. Does this make sense? Say yes. Yes. All 